metal music in general has an incredible amount of highly talented drummers in all different genres. There's thrash, grindcore, black metal, and so on, but we're going to be focusing on one of the more technical subgenres of metal, and that's death metal. Even though speed is utilized throughout drumming in death metal, that's not all there is to it. There's still technique, musicality, and groove a ton of drummers utilize in order to make their skills stand out from the rest. Today, we're looking at 10 of the best drummers in death metal, starting off with a drummer whose speeds can exceed 350 BPM. Spencer, most notable for his insane drum work in the technical death metal band Archspire, has been working on drum techniques that relate to speed and endurance since he was 18. His whole style is actually based around playing in a way that allows different muscle groups to relax while maintaining high speeds. Playing music that can hit up to 360 BPM can get tiring, so he incorporates different techniques such as switch blasting, keeping his drums and cymbals physically below his heart, and positioning his drum kick away from him while using his hip flexors to play, all to give different parts of his body a rest. So this technique allowed me to just relax these muscles and just use my hips, and you know, this is obviously a much larger uh, muscle group up here so you can get more power out of it. When you're playing 50 plus minutes of some of the most technical and physically demanding music in extreme metal, decisions like these are what's going to maximize your capabilities and your performance. Dan is one of the most creative drummers working today. His unique patterns and fills he implements in his band Neo Bliviscaris has brought him much deserved attention from around the world. He works with other bands such as Alluvial, the Keith Merrill West Hawk Progressive Metal Project, A Million Dead Birds Laughing, which is a little more on the technical experimental side of things, and Vipassi, more progressive extreme metal. You can tell from his band history that he very much likes extreme music. Specifically, he likes getting creative with extreme music. I guess death metal is known to be like... That stuff. I try to my best to try and come up with other ways to, to keep intensity and keep things interesting, you know? So uh, one cool thing you can do is, I guess, try and expand your vocabulary of, of rudiments and stickings. So for example, instead of this... I'm going to try something like this. It's this type of thinking that keeps him on the forefront of metal percussion. No matter what band he's playing in, the drumming is always incredibly tight and wildly inventive. Mixing death metal, groove metal, and progressive riffs and patterns together, this French powerhouse is known for their immensely crushing sound and technical rhythmic drum beats. Mario and his brother Joe started this extreme metal band Gojira in 1996 and have since become one of the most prominent figures in metal music. Three years after starting the band, Mario started taking his first real drum lessons from a jazz teacher. For the next seven years, he took these jazz lessons which influenced his writing techniques to be more experimental, obviously bleeding into Gojira. With odd timings and precise moments, Gojira has never been a band to shy away from experimental styles.
Derek Roddy grew up in a house of musicians where music was paramount. Because of this constant exposure to different styles of music, Derek forged a sound influenced by Latin, funk, jazz, fusion, and blues style drumming. He took all these influences and started playing death metal and joined Malevolent Creation in 96. He released In Cold Blood with them before joining Hate Eternal in 1999. He released King of All Kings and I Monarch with them before resigning from the band in 2006. Known for his insane one foot blasting, syncopated accent patterns with cymbals and an amalgamation of non-metal influences, Derek has become a world renowned drummer with a consistent ability to nail down studio recordings in one take. There's many aspects about the setup that I think go overlooked and get absorbed into an overall technique type of question, what technique this, what technique that. And I think that if you understand the dynamics of angles and how you play on any given surface, that will take a lot of those technique questions out of your mind because you'll have better control over the physical motion that happens when you throw a drumstick down on a drum head or a cymbal. He's been a session drummer for bands such as Nile and Council of the Fallen, he works on a solo band where he does all the instruments and vocals, Serpent Rise, and he tours and plays drum clinics for companies like Sure and DW. Hannes Grossman, born in 82, was already working on Epitaph by Necrophagus in 2003 when he was just 21 years old. He's got an incredibly tight playstyle with unique finger control that allows his finger stamina to sustain high intensity rhythms for long periods of time. You have your finger control here going on and what I did, like I trained every finger individually. So you play 16 notes on 120 only with this finger and then for eight measures and instantly you switch over to, to this finger and do the same and with this and then you repeat it without stopping. Then you do the same with the left hand. And this is like how I strengthen my fingers because I can use the power of all, all individual fingers together and have a really strong hit then e with the fingers alone, see? He toured with Necrophages for a while before they disappeared forever and finished up his Masters in Business Administration before joining Obscura in 2007. He released Cosmogenesis and Omnivium with them before parting ways and has since stayed busy with the amount of bands he actively works in now. He plays in Alkaloid, Blotted Science, his solo Hannes Grossman project, Hate Eternal and Trypticon as well as filling in for a ton of session work and producing metal albums from all over the world. With all the project, tours, session work, and producing combined, Hannes is solidified as one of the hardest working drummers in extreme metal today.